I feel like you're gaining weight. Like yeah, you're on of this course diet. I'm gaining weight. What did we eat right before we did the show? We ate chicken. Yeah. What kind of chicken? What was it called? Honey, honey kettle, kettle chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Yeah, a big plate of it. Yeah. And I asked the girl. It's a huge mistake. I said, "What? Uh, uh, why so much for the extra gravy?" Give me like a trough of gravy. I've never seen a, that much gravy. No, that was a lot of gravy. You just I drank devoured the gravy. it. Too. You really did. I, what I do is I eat the chicken and I devour. I went to my doctor because uh -huh. I'm getting so many. Um, good, you should. I'm getting so many. Uh, <laughs> that's what's good about this show is I'm getting all this feedback about how uh, fat, huge and fat I am. So I go to the doctor uh -huh. and I tell the doctor, I, he's like, why are you so fat? And so I said, I thought it'd be funny. Most guys try to lose weight. Right. But I'm, <laughs> I try to become a huge fat guy. So anyways, he said, that's not funny. That's, he says, that's alarming. I, I think it's funny. I think it's funny yeah, too. Yeah, it's pretty funny. But he said that it's, it's, it's quite alarming and that um, I'm in a lot, of, a lot of trouble. And I said, well, I think it's funny and I'm the comedian. <laughs> so, you know, so I said, let's d agree to disagree. And then you know what he said? What? And I say that a lot. Yeah, you do. You say that like, constantly. Yeah, that's my out. <laughs> that's but your in Especially when I'm wrong. Everything. Especially when I'm wrong. Right. I will, I'll, we'll, I'll argue and argue and I go, I guess we have to agree to disagree. <laughs> Anyways, this fucker, he goes, no. <laughs> I go, what? I thought you had to agree to disagree. Well, the customer's always right. He goes, I will not agree to disagree. This is a true story. He goes, I will not agree to disagree. I will disagree. <laughs> what did you say? I said, what's the distinction? I don't understand. Isn't agreeing to disagree the same, uh, essentially, as disagreeing? No, says he. It's not. He says, if I agree to disagree, he goes, it, it gives more credence to your side of the argument. He goes, it sounds like we have two separate uh, arguments, both of which have merit, and uh, then I uh, am uh, saying that some of your points are valid, and you're right. saying some of my points are valid. But he's saying that zero. And he's saying no. Yeah. He's saying that would be like he's saying that would be as unconscionable for him as to agree with a, uh, a Holocaust revisionist. And I said, "Are you going to bring up the fucking Holocaust every time you give me a physical?" <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He's got a tattoo. He's 96. I know his backstory. I don't even afford to go to the doctor right now. You can't afford to well, go to the I doctor? I can't afford to go. Yeah. Certainly well, this isn't going to fucking... We're number six on the must list. I don't know how I'm fucking dying. Yeah, well, you're, not, you're a young man. What, do you got well, any symptoms? I, I know a lot of yeah, stuff. Bleeding, bleeding from my anus. Internally, I think. I mean, no, that's not a joke. That's that's true. Well, no, it's not a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen. I haven't. I haven't, I haven't I've been uh, around jokes my whole yeah, life. Right, right. Well, I mean, I wasn't trying sure. to be funny. That's oh, true. I see what yeah. Um, so you're. <laughs> I'm bleeding internally. I think. So, what's the color of the blood that's coming out? Well, of Well, the good thing is it's not dark. It's oh, not that's dark. good. It's, it's brighter. If it's bright red, it's yeah. coming from uh, the rectal area. Oh, okay. And it's not as dangerous. Well, that's good. I haven't had a physical since I was 16. I'm terrified. And you're 31. 34. It's been a while. Yeah. About 18 years. So hopefully, number six on the must list, we'll, maybe the money will start coming. I'll be able to see that, that uh, doctor. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're really bleeding from your yeah, anus? Yeah, I really am. Because you gave up that entire lifestyle that, <laughs> that would make me think you were still bleeding from the anus, but you told me you'd given that all up. You're talking about alcohol, right? Yeah. Yeah. But how you love to to go to those bars and get real drunk. Yeah. I'd, and then I'd, the next day you'd wake up and you'd be bleeding from the anus. Well, no, I think it was alcohol related. I think what you're no, I'm saying. Okay, I'm, good. No, I'm not implying it. Yeah. You're inferring something, but I'm I'm not implying anything. I'm saying straight out, you would black out. Oh yeah. You'd uh, drink your wild turkey 101. Glen Livet. You like your Glen Livet? Yeah. Like your Jack Daniels, sure. your Jim Beam. Absolutely. Never a lady's name. No. I never really thought about that. Yeah. Do they have booze that have ladies' names? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm sure they do. Because to me, it's Shirley Temple. I don't think that has booze in it. Well, they have a dirty Shirley. Oh. <laughs> a dirty Shirley yeah, it's Temple. It's a Shirley Temple with vodka in it. I miss booze. There's this guy, Chance Langton. Do you know him? He's a comic? No. 
But he said when he was a young boy, he loved Shirley Temple. He was five and she was five. The next year, he saw her in a mall. He was six, she was 50. I blacked out. I didn't even hear the whole fucking thing. I know you blacked out because I, I can feel the <laughs> droplets of blood. As fucking... soon as we started talking about Glenn Livid, I just kind of went to another place. <laughs> it's been 10 months and I'm just like... 10 months? Yeah. That so you've been off? Yeah. You've been off the sauce. Off the off sauce. The booze. Off the booze. I wonder how long you'll last. Well, fuck, Norm. I mean, hopefully a while. Not many do. I mean, I quit, you know? The, the blue. Whoop de doo! <laughs> We're going to have Fred Stoller out next. <laughs> I'm looking forward to. Did you read the book? I uh, I didn't read the book. Oh, come on. Well, man. I was reading the, the fucking uh, Robert Blade book. I well, thought can we you pretend that you read the book? Not now. Well, no, because he just admitted he didn't read it. I know. Well, anyway, we'll have the great Fred Stoller out. And what he's else? Hilarious. We're going to talk about what? We're going to talk about some news stories. And we we got jokes later. Yeah, of course, we always have our jokes. Yeah. You know, because They're really, coming less and less now, I'll be honest. Without the jokes. Yeah. You know. But Fred Stoller will be with us when we return. And uh, let's not talk about your ass and shit all the time. No, I don't want to talk about it. It's unseemly. It's unsettling. It's both unsettling and unseemly to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I do. I do. I mean, you brought up health and you asked about my health. I was just trying to be honest. You know? Yeah, but you're, in, you're as fit as a fiddle. Sure, let's go with that. Well, you are. I think you are. Absolutely. Yeah. Fred Stoller, when we come back. Say it to the camera. Fred Stoller, when we come back. Like that? Yeah. 